Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? It's like just really when you thought be an award if it is this game can't get any weirder. It goes and does this. And now for our feature presentation. Hey everyone, Migs here and welcome back to The Stanley Parable. Now, before we get things started here, I'd like to give a huge, huge thank you to everyone that's been watching and supporting this Let's Play series. I mean, if there's one thing that I'm enjoying about this whole experience, it's really having to experience it with those who are fans of the original game. And for those who are new to this game, having to experience this for the first time together, it really means a whole lot. I mean, it really does warm my heart just as much as experiencing the new content that's within the Ultra Deluxe. I mean, I admit, I'll admit that there's a lot of the original game that I still have to unlock, but considering I have that plus the new content from the Ultra Deluxe, I mean, needless to say, there's still a lot more that we need to do here, you guys. So let's not waste another minute and let's get to it. Now you might be wondering to yourself what is going on with this clock on the screen. Uh, this is not part of my windows right here. This is actually in the game. In fact, this is actually the second time it's asked for the current time. So I don't know what that's about. I mean, maybe it's uh, something that we're going to unlock in the future. I don't know, but let's go ahead and pop in the right time. And we're not in the AM, we are in the PM. Let's make sure I got that right. It's 4.38. Yeah. All right. 4.38. There we go. Hang on. Hang on. This is different. This is new. Before we get started, can I just say something? Thank you for actually setting the clock both times you booted up, booted up the game. A lot of people don't take that step seriously. They just leave the clock set at 12 and call it a day. <laughs> Which one of you guys are those, huh? But you're actually taking the time to set the clock, and I appreciate that. That's how I know that you care about this experience. You're paying attention. I don't even have any way of knowing if the times you're setting are correct. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Since you've been so cooperative, next time you boot up the game and see the screen, just set the clock to your favorite time. Go ahead, pick whichever time you want. Even if it's not the correct time, you've earned it. All right, I'll let you get back to the video game now. Thank you. N narrator? Is this the narrator that's speaking to me? Kind of odd. But there we go. So we are back at it with the Ultra Deluxe. And again, just like the last time we played, I'm really hoping that... Uh, we do unlock at least one new ending because it took me about 40 minutes. Um, I actually went... This is the story. Yeah, yeah, we don't need to go through that. I actually went through like two endings that I've already unlocked before until I reached the quote-unquote new content. But that new content was definitely worth the wait, you guys. So let's go ahead and cross our fingers and hopefully we get some more new content. I mean, there's still that door there, right? Were gone. What could it mean? That's Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps yeah, 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 he had yeah. simply missed a memo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should, no it matter how hard Stanley looked, uh, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. The new content door should be there, hopefully, and I'm hoping that it's not blocked off like they did with the broom closet. I know they did that once before during my playthroughs. So let's go ahead. Yeah, I don't know why I'm shutting these computers down. I'm pretty sure that's an ending that I have no idea how to unlock. But let's... <gasps> oh! New, new content! Okay! Well, yeah. Let's go for it. Oh, good. You noticed my sign. Alright, there's yes, new stuff here. I have something very exciting to show you. Okay. What could it be? Could it be a horror game now? It could be anything. The possibilities are endless! I see a door over there. That's got to be another path. Okay. Uh, we've seen this uh, area before. Yeah, you see, we you went see through Stanley, the new content I've uh, been reflecting gate. on the Stanley Parable and uh -huh. about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. I like the it. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, 
and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one what happened? step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Is this... Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An Wait. entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why, there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Wait, is, is this game actually a legit sequel? I mean... To be fair, new content would be considered a sequel unless it's a DLC. I I don't know, you guys, but I guess what considers a sequel is how much new content you get, and uh, I yeah, I guess that's what differentiates the uh, the two, right? Anyways, uh, investor showcased. Ah, this is weird. The end is never the end again. Calling it the Stanley Parable Two is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. Is it's future-oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long-term franchising potential. Why is this gated off? Hmm. Note? Just the two of us, we can make it if we try. Oh... This game has quite the humor. This is a... I'm guessing this is supposed to be like the office of the developers, but damn, this is a really nice office for one game. <laughs> I mean, no offense, it's a really good game, but this is more like an office for like... Uh, uh, I don't know, like for a whole uh, uh, studio. <laughs> But this is great. I really like the design. Okay. Nothing that we can interact with just yet. I do like the color scheme, though, of the uh, red, black, and white. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what oh. exactly the Stanley Parable Two, 2 is going to be. But let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. That'd be great if this game I actually had a feature where you I could play with a buddy. If I organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally <laughs> spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. <laughs> game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Sequels are good. Batman Arkham Asylum 2 City. This is very true right here. <laughs> Although Dark Souls 2, that I mean, I didn't enjoy Dark Souls 2 as much as I did Dark Souls 3. Just saying. Um, you'll have to excuse me if I'm like just looking at every damn thing. I mean, maybe that's the ADD in me. New features. Oh, do we watch? Can we watch this? No? There's a bus here. New content. Are we riding the bus? Expo Hall 2. Okay, I guess we're going to the Expo Hall. Oh, I like that. This whole red carpet thing here. Whoa! Yeah, this is definitely not an office building for just one game, dude. I don't care what game you are. Try out some of the new features. Holy shit. Uh, exclusive. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Hear your name in the game. I, I don't see that as a very innovative feature, but sure, let's go ahead and see what this is all about. For oh. the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, name. the That's first yours. and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually <laughs> recognized right. and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Whatever you say, narrator, yeah. Let's hear my name. I'm pro it's probably going to call up my uh, Steam name, isn't it? Jim. That's Sorry, I should have clarified. Not my name. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. <laughs> but of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, 
Let's have you role play as Jim and really <laughs> simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. All right. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim, sleeping and waking as Jim, falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim, seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim, and as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? If so, then please step forward and press the button. I am Jim. Jim. <laughs> yes, you see. What a thrill. What a rush. That was you. <laughs> the button described you. Do it again. Do it again. Jim. Ooh, it hits even harder it's the so second weird time. If having this were to the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still the be worth now. the money. Let's take a break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. Jim. Oh, there, cowboy. <laughs> Sometimes a person can be too much, Jim. I'm putting the gym button away. No! Otherwise, soon you'll start to lose all sense Jim. of who you Jim. actually are. Jim. I'm Jim! Jim. <laughs> all right. Well, that was fun, but it's time to not be Jim anymore, I guess. Let's go ahead and see what else is around this whole expo, huh? And I guess we'll go uh, clockwise. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable too. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. Epilogue. Oh. Uh, we're not going to go through there yet. That sounds like a very last thing to do, you know what I mean? Please no screenshots. Oh my god, this is like... Being at a convention. A whole new office. Ooh, look at those. Look at that floor. What the fuck? Sorry, I think my phone was about to... Oh my god. Is it the game? It's coming from the game? It is. It's that's weird. That's the sound that you hear when like your phone is interrupting. Uh, 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 I don't know your your TV set or uh, your video game. You hear that weird ass noise, that frequency noise. But my my phone wasn't going off, which was weird. It was actually in the game. Expo Hall Two Guide Jump Circle This Map Free Achievement. Are these all the endings? No, this. Oh, maybe. No, this is just all the stuff from the expo hall. Because we've already visited the jump circle. I guess we'll meet it again. Free new easy achievement. We'll make our way to there soon enough. Uh, here we have a map of the lower level. Where's the top level? How do you get to the top level? Collect them all. What is that? Oh. Ah, oh, God, you scared me, narrator. Now it's a real video game. <laughs> In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. Where? And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. Uh. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable <laughs> life. Yeesh, look at this. That is scary. Look at this. Look at this fine, fine collectible. I'm guessing this is what Stanley's actually looks like. Okay, so there's six collectibles total. My guess is that the game will actually give us some sort of achievement once we collect all six. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. Well, I deserve it. Don't I? We're gonna go through here, the jump circle again. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable yeah. 2 as well. It's a oh wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the what jump if we circle. Didn't, damn mm. it. Oh well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece then. Damn it. 
See, now that's upsetting because what if I actually saved some jumps for this portion of the game and maybe I would have unlocked something different? I mean, I must have, right? Anyways. Um, let's get this uh, free, new, and easy achievement. I can't believe it's that simple. This is so weird actually seeing Stanley. I mean, I mean this has to be Stanley, right? Either that or it's the developer. Get yours right now. Yeah. Uh, wait. I know this area. This area looks familiar. Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm sure. developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Hey, oh, I remember you this. He mentioned this last time. This lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's yes. It's as simple as that. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Give me. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Oh, you right bastard. now, the achievement is still fully broken. Why am I here then? Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans Give all me. over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. Gimme. Okay, so. Unlocking this whole area, this whole expo, I thought it was actually like, hey, welcome to the Stanley Parable 2. This is actually secretly a sequel. But from the looks of it, this is more like a behind-the-scenes look of the uh, the future. Which is uh, really interesting. And again, pretty self-indulgent. <laughs> again, though, I, I don't mind. I don't mind that. What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Infinite Hole? It won't end. I have a feeling that's going to lead to an ending. Uh, I'm trying to be smart with my decisions here. So let's go ahead and check everything else before we go through there. Okay, I'll be honest. Oh. I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration. Like balloons. Yeah, sure. But I'm undecided on get well someday and happy 12th birthday. Which would you go with? Uh You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Get well someday it is. What the heck, dude? That's not what I picked. <laughs> no. See, see, now the narrator is screwing with us. He doesn't want us to make our own decisions. Again. I mean, you might as well Retro. just start over the whole game. Maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I made my decision. Bucket. We're moving on. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. That it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those Where's who the played it. Well, I'm happy to say that after much consideration... I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, any time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm oh. and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. Uh... Okay... Bucket! <laughs> So funny. I, um, Can you feel it? The bucket? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. What? I can't set it down. Well, I guess I have Bucket now. Come along, Bucket. To 
does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? It's like just really when you thought be an award if it isn't this game can't get any weirder. It goes and does this. Uh, I guess, yeah, let's check out the infinite hole. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Infinite hole and then epilogue. Unless, wait. No, no, let's check upstairs. I'm sorry, guys. My ADD. Oh, shit. That's the epilogue. <laughs> okay. I, I like to have a certain order in things, you guys. So let's go ahead and check out what's up here. Settings world champion? What the hell are you talking about? Settings world champion. Okay. It's locked. Maybe we unlock it later on. Alright. Let's head to the hole. Let's head to the infinite hole. Check it out. Check out what this is all about. Okay. Guessing the hole is through here. Wait, what is this? It just keeps going. This has to lead to an ending. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can hole. fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time if you like. Oh! Stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. I didn't mean to go in. At least not yet. You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, what? and we can continue onward. What if I just keep going? Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Is there a bottom? Okay, Stanley. Huh? I don't know quite how to say this. I can wait all day. But it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition oh. of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite oh. is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Okay, well, good for you. <laughs> you found the bottom of the hole. Yay! You found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar Damn right. and a cheat, and you're so clever. Yeah. Look, I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? <laughs> I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. <sighs> Uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly mostly infinite. infinite? If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. You know, this makes me think, like, what defines a hole? Does a hole actually have a bottom or does a, can a hole be infinite? Something to think about. Uh, return to the surface. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas. It's a different area. No, it's not. Okay, so that's not an ending. Oh my god, it actually changed the uh, the name. Mostly Infinite Hole. Ah, it's through here. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yeah. yes, it will go at the end of the... Um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. Was that it? <laughs> Was that seriously it? All right. Well, let's go ahead to the last stop, which is the exit. <laughs> oh, shit. This is... Oh, okay, no, let's go downstairs. Okay. Uh, I think that's everything here. Yeah. Sorry, I, I had to double check to make sure I'm not missing anything here. But yeah, that's that's got to be it. Okay, let's head to the exit. Look at this. Look at this art. All right. Have you seen everything you wanted to? 
Ready to move on now? Yeah. I'm taking this bucket with me. Seriously, it's so weird seeing Stanley's face. Please, no screenshots. Oh, is this the same room with the hole? So, Stanley, uh. what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly it's pretty good so far. come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. Okay. I'll arrange these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> okay. What? Are you ready? Yeah. Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. <laughs> um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of okay. It's so right. funny when you think about Hold it. On. Like, that's Let all that's here. Arrangement. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. Ah. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Carpet. Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully. Like what you've already been doing? With respect. With care for the vision and... It's exactly what you've been doing, narrator. Game. Would it possibly work? Mm, I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Oh. Oh my god! This is a legit sequel! This is it! This is the Stanley Parable 2! Oh my god. I'll be damned. You've done it, devs. You silly bastards. Now I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry that I need to do this, you guys, but I'm afraid that we are out of time for the day. But stay tuned because, as you can see, we have just unlocked the Stanley Parable 2. Now, what does that mean exactly? I mean, is it going to be an actual new experience? I mean, I already kind of feel like this experience is really new. I mean, this playthrough alone, we didn't spend barely any time in the office at all we were in a new office at a new uh expo with featuring all the new features and all that which was pretty good pretty uh, entertaining to say the least so stay tuned for the next episode but until then i want to thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed today's video please do not forget to smash that like and if you're new to the channel please do consider subscribing as well as ring the bell so that you are notified for the next video and that's going to be it for today. I want to thank you so much again for watching. My name is MigsXL, and I will see you in the next video.